Hi, uh, in this video we will see uh, how to select motor for our CAD model. So if we uh, design a new CAD model and uh, looking to select a motor for this particular CAD model, this can be done with the help of lab view. Let's see how we can do that. So first uh, uh, we have to complete the CAD model and we have to apply the materials. So whatever the materials that is necessary for our model we have to choose the material for this model then uh, <coughs> move on to motion study and choose SOLIDWORKS motion uh, we need to choose motor for this uh, CAD model then uh, I also added gravity to this model and uh, I also given a solid body contact that is friction between the moving part this uh, this is a moving part so I given the friction between these two parts So once uh, our CAD model is completed, then we can move on to lab view, open a blank project, add the assembly. Then move on and add the axis. Then select enable drive then deploy this project so once this is completed <coughs> we can move on and add the required file or you can create a required NI file for this model I've already created a file for this so I'm simply adding the file to this just performance monitoring This is the VI file. <coughs> this is created. Let's execute this one. Mm, before that, I will add on another file that is for conversion purpose. This is just to convert uh, what are the values that I needed. So before I move on to the main function, uh, I will run this file. So exactly I want this model to be in uh, 1500 RPM. So I'm choosing a 1500 here. And converting this to velocity that is to 9000 exactly I need to 9000 here then go acceleration <coughs> so fix it this one then move on and click the run button then start simulation can give uh, command from here so going to be 300 move when the CAD file is moving we can check 
the perform uh, so from the graph here so this is how it is moving then we can move on and check the performance so here it will give the performance of this CAD model So the CAD model has moved 300 mm so it is completed the given command then I move on to the graph check here so I can stop this stop the simulation It's taking a lot of time. <coughs> you can see the velocity and the torque. What is this in this graph? We can export this data to an Excel sheet. <coughs> Insert line and then select line with maker markers. Then move on and select data, remove everything. So we only going to need the top. from the this file we can find what is the maximum torque so this we need uh, about 8.12 so it is in newton millimeter so we need to convert this to newton meter so what is the torque here it is 8.12 so the needed torque for us is I zero point zero zero eight one two so zero zero point zero zero eight one two two and my RPM is thousand five hundred. So exactly we need of one point two seven four eight four for watch a power. So we can choose uh, for versatility. We can choose between uh, a two watts motor or a three watts or up to a five watts motor. We can choose whatever uh, motor we want. So the required motor power to move the CAD model uh, for a thousand five hundred RPM is one point two seven four eight four. Thank you.